Okay, so here I've got a battle that's kind of a little out of the ordinary. So let me explain what was happening. It's Saturday, and you know how I always try to upload something on Saturday. And usually it's a Pokemon battle. So I've been battling. I went to work, came back, then I've been battling. I have, I've had like seven battles today. Five of them ended up as DCs. Two of them ended up as like five O's. So I'm pretty fucking frustrated. And then I had this battle. So the guy goes on and I start looking at his Pokemon and this this is pretty much what was going through my head. Gengar, okay, not the most threatening thing in the world. I have scissor for it, I have I have shit for it. Next Pokemon, Suicune. Kind of an interesting choice, not really seen too much because of Ferrothorn, but it's not bad. Scizor, standard, it's always going to be a threat. Titar, again, standard, always a threat. And now here's where shit started to get weird, or not weird, but I'm pretty sure you'll understand my thought process. He has a clay doll. Shout outs to, um, What's his name? Uh, wow, I don't even know his name. Shout out to Mudquaza, because when I saw that thing, I didn't even remember its name. I just I just remembered Babushka. So, those of you that watch him know what I'm talking about. But it's a clay doll. And, you know, it's a clay doll. It's pretty bad. And then, an Omastar, which would not be the worst option in the world if he had rain. But he has a T-Tar. But, I don't know, I'm not saying he won't be able to make it work. But, it doesn't look like he's going to put up much of a challenge, to be honest. Because my team, I, I took the team that I've been using the other time. And, basically, his team has a few, like, three water weaknesses and one water resist. And, I don't know. It just looked weird to me. So, I was thinking this is probably going to be another 5-0, um, Again, I'm not saying somebody with this team can't beat me. I'm pretty sure it's possible. But, highly unlikely given that it is the Wi-Fi Battle Finder. So what I decided to do, since I've been getting DC'd and, you know, just beating everybody up until this point, what I thought I might do, something a little different. I know what you're thinking, oh my god, Black Blasto is doing something different, what is this? But just bear with me. So here's a Pokemon I decided to take. First, Rotom, since he does have a few water weaknesses, like I said, his only water resist is Suicune, and, you know, Rotom's obviously going to be able to Volt Switch on it if he decides to switch into a resisted Hydro Pump. Next Pokemon, Scizor, basically priority, he does have the Tyranitar weak to it, um, he does have the Claydol, which I can possibly set up on and U-turn, and he does have Gengar, which will not take a Bullet Punch very well, and just mainly just to resist because you'll see you'll see what I'm doing next horse junior again he has water weaknesses and it's a fucking horse junior so why not he doesn't really have too much for this guy next Latios simply because it's scarfed and I could use it to revenge kill mainly what I want it for is that Suicune there because if it starts to get calm lines up I won't be able to do too much and this is why because my next Pokemon is Nothing. That is all I fucking used in this battle. Four Pokemon versus six. I know this seems extremely cocky and arrogant, and but you know, it is what it is. I'm a fucking asshole. I've always admitted it. And like I said, I I was really frustrated. I wanted to upload something for today, because I won't be able to do it during the week. And yeah, let's just see how this bitch went. So, as you should have seen in the team preview, he ended up leading with Gengar and I led off with Rotom, which isn't really the best matchup in the world for me since, uh, although I can live a hit, uh, I'm not going to be able to win hit KO more than likely. So, basically what I'm going to do here is try to go for the Hydro Pump and, you know, just scout for the Sub Disable, but he hits me with the fucking Giga Drain, so this pretty much confirms my original thought process that this dude was probably very new to Wi-Fi battling and I've been doing this shit for like most of my life so yeah um I get a crit hydro pump 
luckily it hits luckily it's a crit otherwise I wouldn't have killed so yeah good for me I guess now he's gonna bring in this T-Tar I don't wanna take a crunch I know I could hit him with a hydro pump but it's not gonna kill and a crunch will kill me so I'm thinking maybe I could bring it in on one of his slower Pokemon and set up a rest and gain my HP back because I do only have four Pokemon. So I want to keep him alive, obviously. So he ends up going for Rock Slide. does quite a bit more than I expected, so I'm still thinking he might be Scarfed at this point, which is kind of why I expected fuck and Torn fucked up my video there. That's kind of why I expected him to, um, fuck. Lost my thought process there. I expected him to switch. So, he, I actually didn't expect him to switch. I went for the bullet punch, pretty much thinking, um, I want some damage on that thing, just in case. Because, you know, the T-Tar is going to be able to come in on my Latios all day. So, he's going to set up a Calm Mind, just as I thought in the team preview, and I'm going to go to Latios. And, again, here, if this dude isn't a completely horrible or brand new battler, he will know the trick is coming, or he will at least scout for it. So, um... Yeah, he stays in and I get the trick off and he does go for another Calm Mind. Gives me a Chesto Berry, so he's probably running Calm Mind, Resto, Chesto, Scald, um, Ice Beam maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, um, Latios is going to stay in here. I'm going to go for the Surf, pretty much, because most of his dudes are weak to water. And uh, I knew he would switch. He does end up going to Scizor, which, I don't know, I guess is a pretty good move. T-Tar would have also worked, but maybe he doesn't run Pursuit and I would have just ended up switching out. So, I don't want to stay in here, don't want to take a U-turn, don't want to take a Bullet Punch, so I'm going to go into my own Scizor, which can resist both of them. Um, Rotom might have come into a Bullet Punch, but it's pretty much almost dead. So, Scizor goes out there and takes a Bug Bite. I see no leftovers, so I'm thinking maybe he's like banded with Bug Bite, but in any case, I'm going to go for the Roost. I'm, pr I'm hoping I'm faster. And just trying to get my HP back up. I can't really do too much to this scissor with my own scissor since I only have U turn and bullet punch as my attacking moves, and then I have Sword Zan's Roost. So he's gonna go for the superpower, confirming that he is not choice, and I'm thinking he's more than likely gonna be a Sword Zan set just like I am, but for some reason I'm faster. So I know he's gonna switch now, which is why I'm gonna go for the U turn, and he brings in a Suicune, so uh. I can't really go to Rotom since he might be able to kill me after, I don't know, he hasn't got up rocks yet, but I don't know, maybe if he had Hydro Pump, I guess I didn't want to risk that because my Rotom is at low health, and I do have Latios, which should be able to take a, an Ice Beam, uh, depending on what kind of EV spread he's running, but I see Leftovers goes first, I mean not Leftovers, Sandstorm goes first for me, which tells me even after the Scarf, I am going to be faster. And Thunderbolt should be able to kill, but it doesn't. Uh, and it looks like he's only got Scald, Scald. God, people complain that I say that wrong. I don't give a fuck what it's called. I say fucking Scald or Scald. I don't even know what I say anymore. But yeah, Sandstorm kills him off, so that's pretty good. A little bit less Sandstorm damage for me. Here, I don't want him to predict my Scizor and Latios. I don't know. To me, this Latios should have already been dead anyway, because... He should have probably went out to T-Tar knowing that I can't really do too much to his T-Tar and he obviously threatens me out. So I decided to go for the Surf, get off like 30% damage on that guy. And he's going to set up a Swords Dance which puts me in a kind of a situation. Because now I'm going to be forced to risk this Hydro Pump miss with my Horse Junior. And it's funny because um, I started out with 4 Pokemon, he started out with 6 and at this point I think I even up the game at 3-3 so LOL. Thankfully, the Hydro Pump misses um, are not happening, so I'm getting pretty pretty good luck, um, especially considering that first turn Hydro Pump crit, but whatever, now he's going to send out this T-Tar, again, thinking it might be Scarfed, but if he is Scarfed, um, the only thing that might be able to kill me is maybe a superpower, but I don't know, I'm just going to go for the Secret Sword and it one hit KOs. So that's pretty good, and he's got a Omastar and a Clay Doll left. So um, Horse Junior is looking pretty good here. So he's gonna send out the Omastar. I mean, fuck the Clay Doll, and he's gonna run. So, LOL. I think I still had my Scizor left, so I could have U-turned and then 
I don't know, done some shit. But pretty much Hortz Jr. would have beaten the rest of his guys anyway, assuming I hit some hydro pumps. And I could have called mind on that clay doll maybe, unless it had earthquake. But in the end, four Pokemon prevailed because I'm a fucking asshole. And I, now I think I'm good. Just kidding. Obviously not. But yeah, um, something a little different. I thought this was pretty funny too because he complained that my Keldeo had a nickname. But yeah, comment, rate, all that shit. I'm out.